Lieutenant? What's the deal with the slums? Hell, man, that's my home. Grew up there. Ain't easy on the eyes, but damn if it ain't lively. Hell, most of the Afir population lives there. All the laborers, keepers, craftsmen, and most of the ward, too. No one ever gets out of there. Ain't no time or means to make the place better, neither. When something collapses, they send the mutos to half-ass repair it. Over and over, and over again. The high-ups hate the place, but truth is, it's where the real forces of abundance and a fear are, you know? Also the home of the rogues. But I ain't gotta tell you that, do I, Lieutenant? Citizens, gotta keep moving. Go! We're going, we're going! Stay back. Keep moving. Screw you! You move! I live here! There may be an attack coming. We're just trying to keep everyone safe. An attack? In the middle of a fear. Is that a joke? Stay back. Keep moving. Screw you! You move! I live here! Listen, take this and get the hell out. Huh. Well, now that you're asking nice. there. You're the officer who's escorting us? Damn, we got lucky. Our own Technomancer. Name's Nisha. Pleasure. Zachariah Mancer. I'll get you where you need to go. Never met a Technomancer before. Must be amazing to have powers like that. I gotta say, I was getting pretty worried Aurora would try to attack us on the road. But with you tagging along... We still need to be careful and stick together. Never know when danger's gonna crop up. We leaving soon. I'm ready when you are. Based on the threats we received, I admit I was really anticipating a law to strike. We must get to the exchange. Only then will we be safe. Hello, officer. I'm Simon Judge. Hello, Mr. Judge. I'm Zachariah Manser, and I've been assigned to escort you. Manser? A Technomancer? I've never had the opportunity to cross paths with your guide. You're a pretty mysterious group of people. I've heard that your abilities could turn out to be dangerous, even for you. Is it true? It's called a surge. Intense excitement and emotions can make us generate more energy than we can usually handle. It creates an overload. If we manage to keep it in check, the effects are minor, and it can be used very effectively in combat. The result is devastating for anything around the Technomancer. Unfortunately, in extreme cases, it can lead to the death of the one who generates it. Fascinating. That's really fascinating. You are really the spearhead of the armies of Mars. We leaving soon. I'm ready when you are.
Can't open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. Can't leave these people without an escort, soldier. They're vulnerable to attack. Go on, report back when you can. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Deal with the assassins. Deal with the assassins. Gotta go, now. We're following you, officer. Trusting you with our lives. Let's head to the north gate. Then the guards can take you to the residence, or the exchange. You're an impressive young man. I've always trusted our technomancers. Gentlemen, miss, let us dally no more.
Thank you, officer. I hope to see you around soon. I'll be at the source. Lieutenant! Everything go all right? Uh, it's been awful over there. They blew up the protection shutters, so we had to evacuate everyone. Yeah, I know. It wasn't just a diversion. It was a symbol, too. Destroy the roof of a rival city, and they won't forget about it anytime soon. That's true. That's some good thinking, Lieutenant. So, are we heading back to the barracks? Sure the Captain will be wanting your report as soon as possible. You is one of them technomancers, ain't ya? Heard about you? One of them fancy officers supposed to be our protectors. We do what we can. Then maybe you the man I should ask for help. You see, I got a daughter. Prettiest thing you ever seen, ever seen. So, so sweet and kind and everything a mom would ever want in a baby girl. Kind of daughter makes you just bubble with pride. But she's gone now just disappeared. And I know you ain't know her, but I promise she ain't the kind of girl who just leave her mama without no word. It's them Vori done took her. I know it. Took her and forcing her to do heaven knows what. Horrible things I can't imagine. You gotta help. You got to help her, Mr. Manser. I'll do my best. What's her name? Sarah. Her name is Sarah. Thank you so much, sir. I can't say how good it is for you to help a woman like me. Thank you, sir. Thank you for my baby girl and me. Mr. Manser, the sight of your face has started to give me agita. To what do I owe the displeasure this time? I'm looking for a prostitute named Sarah. Hmm. And you wouldn't be the only one. She was quite the popular menu item for the boys at the barracks, until she disappeared. Like a puff of once lucrative smoke. You catch wind of her, you'll let me know. I'd be much obliged. Wish I could give you a bearing, but the truth of the matter is, the doll simply disappeared, along with a potential profit I'm not happy to have seen go with her, but would pay to see returned. 
with or without some added bruising as a lesson in running off. I gotta go. Then go. Can't go through here. Make the slightest move, you're dead. So you find my girl yet? Popular young girl you got there. Word is the mob's looking for her too, but she slipped away. Maybe one of her regular clients could help. Oh, well, let me think. There was one fella was deep into my Sarah, if you catch my drift. Spent all his serum, time, attention on my baby girl. John. John Labor, I believe. Fella from the slums. But if you're gonna find him there, you have to go at day's end. During daylight, the boy works round them military warehouses with the rovers. Hey, you John Labor? That depends. What's this about? You all right? Look a little worse for wear. Oh yeah, never better. What do you want? A young woman worked around here. Name was Sarah. The girl's gotten popular. A lot of people looking for her these days. What's it to you? Just a guy trying to help her out. What do you say? She just... Uh, just wanted a chance at life is all. So she headed to the exchange to start it. May still be there. Leave me alone now. I don't need no more trouble. here huh what do you want nothing from you I'm here for gal right sorry she's ours you can come back later after we're done with her you can get the hell out now and never come back but do you need me to help you out permanently please please sir. shut your fucking mouth bitch fuck your lucky damaged goods are worth less or I'd drop a hammer on your teeth. Yeah, I think we've got a little misunderstanding. I need to talk to the girl, and you don't really have a choice here. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
much I owe you. What they would have done to me if you hadn't shown up. But I need to get out of town now, for good. If you really want to leave, uh, I know a traveling merchant who may be willing to help you. He's in the exchange quarter and he owes me a favor or two. Tell him I sent you. I'll be a lot safer than trying to find an honest smuggler. Really? Why? Thank you. Thank you. I will never forget you. Make the slightest move you're dead. <laughs>
Lieutenant?
your command, Lieutenant.
Hello, Fiorello. Ah, our savior is here. It's, uh, wonderful to see you again. You seem a bit preoccupied. Things not going well? No, no, it has. Everything has gone very well because of your efforts. Let's just say that my leave of absence didn't help my business. Don't think I'm not grateful, friend. I appreciate the thought. What can I do for you? Listen, maybe I can help. What's going on? You are too kind. I am so deeply indebted to you. Anyway, yes, I am a little worried. More than a little, to be truthful. Two of my regular clients, after the kidnapping, must have assumed the worst and just left. I haven't heard from them. No one but you, I admit, cared enough to come to look for me. That said, their merchandise is here, but I have no way of telling them I am back without the risk of exposing myself. I don't mean to treat you like my errand boy. I only ask because you offered your help. Anyway, if you could let them know, I could compensate you as well. One of them, I'm sure you know. The barracks quartermaster. The other one is a slums merchant. You know where the merchant's at? Of course, of course. If you have a map, I could show you. Bless you, man, sir. A thousand times over, bless you for all you've done for me. I need your help. And I haven't forgotten I owe you. I'm happy to help wherever I can. Glad to hear it. I'd like you to take this young woman with you. Her name's Sarah. Of course. I'd be happy to. If she wants to leave, I'm sure her reasons are more than valid. So, I won't pry. You can count on me. Thank you. Who's the girl? She doesn't exactly look like a merchant. It is a good question. I found her tied up in the warehouse that we were dumped in. The poor thing cannot even remember her own name. I figure she must have family or friends around here, though, so... I keep her with me, hoping someone might recognize her. Just banking on luck, though. Maybe as an officer, you might be able to check and see if someone has reported her missing. I'm sure her family would be grateful, as I would. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Officer Manser. You are a man of endless generosity. What kind of merch are we talking about? Boxes of equipment for your quartermaster. From Alliance. From Alliance? Our rival corporation? Just one of the many, like Aurora. But Alliance, being at the cutting edge of military research, clearly has goods your quartermaster is interested in. And what's the merchant buying? Mostly exotic ammunition. The kind used for hunting. Different prey require different rounds, from my understanding. The more exotic the prey. I hear you. Thanks. Look at you! Glad to see you. Can't tell you how much your help was. It is appreciated. Well, things might have worked themselves out in time, but who has time these days? And you sure saved me the asshole. You're a technomancer? I am. Zachariah Manser. I'm lucky. In name and in life. You Mansers all stick together. Know each other real well, don't you? Know each other, maybe. But we're scattered between here and the front. Right, right! The front. Of course, the front. So, uh, I take it you know where I can find, a. Uh, I believe his name is Master Connor? He's still in town, away from the front, training recruits. Lucky again. Just what I wanted to hear. Think you might be up to do me a favor? Either way, I'm here. Tell me what you need. Simple. To meet Master Connor and relay some information. With your help, of course. Without your help, well, being just a simple merchant, unwelcome outside the exchange, I suppose it'd be a bit harder. If not, you know, impossible. You know as well as I do, a common merchant can't just stroll up to the likes of a master. So, you get me in front of him, and I'll owe you one. How about that? I'll see what I can do. And I'll be much obliged. <laughs>